Hi guys, Drew here, back with another video doing another grub review as usual, and in this game, guys, the grub unfortunately lose to the Warster Railers 4-2. And the goals for the grab today, Zach O'Brien getting his sixth of the season. You might notice that's not a lot of goals for O'Brien since he's been scoring a lot of goals of the past few seasons. But he actually has 33 points in 17 games. He's been getting a lot of assists this year. And he seems to be doing pretty well. So he's on pace for over 100 points. I think he can pull it off. He's definitely a top 10 player in the league. Maybe even top 5 if you want to go a little spicy. But um, he seemed to have a really good season this year. Warren Santazo getting the other goal, his 13th of the season. Santazo seems to be reviving his season so far as he had a bit of a rough um, start of the season, but now he seems to be reviving that. So good to see Santazo getting that 13th goal of his season. And so now the Grouse are 13 4 1 0. They're second in their division behind the Worcester Railers. And they are fourth in the league behind the Indy Fuel. They're actually tied for the third slot. So um, maybe if the Grouse can pull off the win tonight, they could go over Indy. As tonight, they are going to be playing the Worcester Railers tonight, Saturday night, 7 o'clock and all time, 5.30 Eastern. So if you guys want to check that out, um, you can get your tickets right now. But um, you can certainly watch that on Flow Hockey as they do all the ECHL games. I'll save the goals for Worcester. Anthony Rapaci getting two for Worcester. He seemed to have a really good game. During warm-ups, one of his goals were really nice. Um, it was like at the dot, and he just fired that puck on the power play, and he seemed to find the back of the net. Reese Newkirk getting one for Worcester with a really bad goal, I'll say. He was just tied up with two other growlers. The growlers were bobbling the puck, and he just finds the back of the net. Um, and Bobby Butler got one of the goals for Worcester. It was also a good away from the growlers. He actually played in the NHL not too long ago, so if you guys want to see a few of his NHL stats, you most certainly could if you wanted to. Um, so, with the Growls being 13-4-1-0, do you guys think they can pull off the win tonight against Worcester? As they have a loaded goalie in Henrik Tikkanen. During the warm-ups, he was just, like, looking all over the place, just staying focused. Same thing for the National Anthem. He was just locked and loaded. He might be in the NHL in a couple of seasons. He was really locked and loaded. He was like, I think he's over 6'5", too. Um, so he, he's a definitely a great goalie um, in this league. He's actually Finnish, so you don't see much um, European goalies play in the ECHL, but he's definitely one of them, and he's doing pretty well. Um, so uh, Luke Kaplan was in net for the Growlers tonight, last night, I mean. Um, he he played okay, I'll say. Like, Dryden and McHale will probably be in net tonight. Um, Jack Bedini made his Growls debut. Um, he played pretty well, I'll say. Um, he kind of impressed me. So I'm hoping that he could stay with the Growls for the rest of the season. Maybe turn into a Ben Finkelstein on forward. Just join the Growlers and just play unreal as soon as he gets there. Um, we'll have to wait and see, though, as maybe tonight he'll perform pretty well. Um, didn't get any points last night, so... Hopefully he can perform in tonight's game and they also play Sunday uh, in the afternoon So if you guys want to see that you might as well could if you want so yeah, um the growlers lose Unfortunately, they played they played. Okay. I'll say um, hopefully they can play tonight. Um, pretty better I'll say um, it was like the battle of the bands tonight last night He they they just were really wanting this win. I knew they wanted this win. I wanted that win really bad just never worked out. You gotta play those good teams at times. Can't win them all, guys. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, you can like this video. You can subscribe if you really liked it. You can follow me on TikTok. My name is Drew, the hockey guy. No spaces. Do that same thing for the Instagram account. You can follow me on Twitter. That is at Felsome Drew. We're at about that two hundred followers over there. You can like the Facebook page. That is Drew, the hockey guy. No spaces. There is space to that. I mean, um, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, guys. That is true on the hockey guys. Spaces to this one. There you can hit the black button down below. And we are on the road to 200 subscribers. I'm hoping we can hit it by the end of 2022. So we'll have to wait and see. And yeah, that's going to be it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See you guys tomorrow.